Hello guys, it's from Sixit, and welcome to something brand new that I'm going to be trying, and that is actually a live tutorial. Oh shit. And what I mean by this is that I'm going to be doing a tutorial, but I'm going to be walking through it from start to finish. So I'm going to be playing through the game as normal, but I'm going to be, my main goal is going to be to complete some sort of easter egg. Which in this episode of course, well, this time round, of course, is going to be wall behind the BRM. This is an easy process, and I'm going to be showing sort of the quickest way of getting there, hopefully. But, um, yeah, so, let's do this. Okay, one of the things I'm going to be trying to speed run through this as quickly as possible. Then can the necessary steps um, be taken to secure the future. So some things I are going to be missed out, like the bows. There's literally no point in me doing the bows because pretty much the only gameplay is going to go and get the BRM. Um, I don't even think I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the shield part. Fear just not. for good measures. We'll find a place to put this. But um so, much so yeah be to so the BRM. It may not be everyone's favourite weapon in all shit in Black Ops 3 zombies, but like, if you do this you actually do get an achievement for doing it, so if you're an achievement hunter and you want to get 100% com completion of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 then you should do this because it is one of the in-game achievements that you have to complete. So here I'm buying the LK9 because it's a weak point weapon and it should help me get through these first few rounds. Hopefully. So I could have taken the other route doing this easter egg, which is a shorter way to do it, but I'm taking this route to kind of show you guys the ideal way to go if you still want to get the bows. So, you know, maybe add an extra round or two onto this process. So we're on round four now. Which is okay. Okay. Groff. It is me, Edward. Any reports from the giant suggesting my demise are erroneous. This room belonged to Maxis. He was the first among us to be. Never mind. Okay. Max up. Here we go again. Again! So now it's pretty much a straight trot on from here down to the Undercroft. It seems I but then the sea strike really starts, really to work. be honest. Um, I won't go for anything special. Um, one thing we are going to build is the shield, just so I can kind of save my back when I'm in there. Other pieces must exist. I will be careful and, um, not to overlook anything. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is just going to grab the points from that. And so when you go into the Undercroft, what you're going to want to do is you want to stand in these four floor tiles here. Fairly straightforward, you know. You basically just want to activate anti-gravity. But if you didn't know how you activate it, you just want to stand on these floor panels until they light up. They should make a little noise and your controller should vibrate once they're finished. And yeah, once you're done, you're pretty much ready to go. Then you want to hop on these walls and touch these pads 
we're gonna wall run over all these sort of pads on the wall. These ones here. So as you kind of run along, you want to make sure you run across all of them. It can be quite hard to do. And you have more than one attempt of doing this. And you can come back in each round. You get the ones that you missed. I don't think I'm going to get that one, no. no touching one still stands, however. Yeah, I'm not going to get all of them this round. So... Yeah. I assume Dwarf and Schuster were trying to discern the secrets of this machine. So we're gonna have to wait till anti gravity reinitializes in this room. And then we should be able to hit the rest of the pads. Now Okay, so I believe we don't have many left to go. I'm really not sure though. you've already got. So you want to make sure you hit all these pads that aren't lit up. It can be quite hard to get them because they are fairly small. Whilst we're at it, we're going to grab the shield part. And... Yes, so there's not many. you just got to keep all running around until you successfully hit them all. And like I said, this can be quite tricky. Okay, so we got that one left. But just this one. There we go. The BRM is now unlocked on the wall. So if we now run back over to here, you can see this plate has been removed and we can buy the BRM for 1,800 points. And so I just need to accumulate those points now because I currently turn off 1,800 points. Which is a bit of a shame. But we're going to build the shield. So you can get this done by round 5. Which is pretty decent. You probably could get this done earlier with the help of gobble gums, but the bare minimum spent is basically this way. If you can get lucky with spawns and shit like that, you probably could do this a lot earlier. But yeah, so we're just gonna wait now till this reactivates. And then we're gonna leap up and go by the BRM. Dr. Grove, have you made any progress? Alright, here we go. Yeah, Doctor. The machine is ready. Got it. Now we got the achievement, quick off your feet. Um and yeah, that's pretty much it. So this BRM is fully functional. Of course. It's a BRM. Um it's a fairly pointless easter egg, but there's probably some sort of use for it. I mean, it's just the BRM. Hey, that's it. It's a plain old standard BRM. Well, it's a neat little thing added into the map. So you can see it now, and you can buy ammo for it, which I'm going to go and do now. And so that's the only downside. If you want to buy ammo for it, you have to wait for the anti-grav to come back on. So you can wall run back up there and grab it. You don't even have to wall run, you just have to jump high enough to reach the ammo. But anyways, that's it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, I'd like to appreciate it. If you're new, subscribe if you're very appreciated as well. And I guess that is it for now. Goodbye!